Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the Demon Slayer episode 19 ending. It's a really nice song, goes like this, give you a preview of the theme, goes like this, check it out. Let's get right into it. So melody and block chords, that's what we're going to learn because that's the foundation of a song from that you can add all the improvisations and decorations afterwards. So here we go. Let's break it up into a few parts to learn it, okay? We'll break it up into four parts, okay? First part goes like this. Right hand starts on the F here, middle C, go up and up to C, F is where we start here. So F, E, F, up to A, down to E. And that's it for the first part for the right hand. Let's do it again. So for five notes. F, E, F. A down to E. That's the first part for the right hand. Once you get that left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are first chord is D minor, which is D F A. Second chord is first inversion of A minor, which is C E A. So with these two chords in mind, so D minor and then first inversion A minor, the two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts F and D minor together, E and then the next chord together, like that. That's it for the first part one more time. Together. Together. That's it. Moving on to the second part, right hand continues. It goes D, C, D, up to F, up to A. And that's it for the second part for the right hand. Let's do it again. So it goes D, C, D, up to F, up to A. And that's it for the right hand. Once you get that left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are B flat major, which is B flat D, F, and then the first inversion of F major, which is A, C, F. So the two chords in mind, so B flat major and first inversion F major, turn together goes like this, so right hand starts, D and B flat major together, A and the next chord together, like that. One more time, together, together. That's it for the second part, so back to back, the two parts we've learned so far will be played like this. Okay, moving on to the third part, right hand continues, goes B flat A, B flat up to D, down to A, that's it for the third part. One more time, it goes B flat A, B flat up to D, down to A, and that's it for the right hand for the third part. Left hand, the third part, we have two chords here, the two chords are G minor, which is G, B flat, D, and then the second chord is the first inversion of D minor, which is F, A, D. Okay, so with the two chords in mind, so G minor, and first inversion D minor, two hands together goes like this, so right hand starts. B flat and G minor together, A and the next chord together. That's it for the third part. One more time, it goes together, together. And that's it for the third part. So back to back, the three parts of blunt so far will be played like this. Moving on to the fourth part, Ryan goes G, F, G, down to D, up to A, and that's it for the fourth part. One more time, it goes G, F, G, down to D, up to A, that's it for the right hand. Once you get that left hand, two chords here, the two chords are E half diminished, which is E, G, B flat, D, this is the four note chord, okay, as you can see, it's four notes, second chord is A major, which is A, C sharp, E. So with these two chords in mind, so E half diminished, followed by A major, two hands together, goes like this, right hand starts, G and X chord together, A and A major together, and that's it for the fourth part. One more time, it goes together, together, and that's it for this fourth part, okay? So yeah, once you get that back to back, all four parts will be played like this. Okay, beautiful, okay? 
Yeah, so once you get all the melody and chords are good, you can start to add all the improvisations and decorations. Left hand, you can do like, for the chords, you can do like octave bass note, arpeggios, rhythmic patterns, that kind of thing. And in the right hand, you can harmonize based on the chords, okay, to make it thicker in texture. So you can be like. pretty nice theme okay so yeah that's that okay by the way if you're an anime enthusiast I've done a lot of anime themed piano tutorials and covers on my channel so you can learn it on my channel okay but anyways that's pretty much it for today's lesson if you enjoyed this lesson make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages meme songs video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.